Can anyone tell me what that is? Any guesses? Any guesses at all? Does it look like maybe uh, cow poop? It's it's too small to be cow poop. Um, does it look like bird poop? No. That's not bird poop. Well, maybe it's bird poop, but it's not bird poop. Any hints? Any hints? Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess what I'm looking at? Uh, maybe the real astute people can identify the fruit on the ground. It has a real distinct aroma. All right, let me do a reveal here of what I am looking at behind my van. One, two, three. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Are you? That's not a little van. That's a big van. But that is a much bigger tree. Are you kidding me? Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Can't be real. Can't be real. You're looking at my favorite tree in the world, people. My favorite tree in the entire world. Uh, right now, I'm hauling a bunch of my redwood trees that I had to cut down, down to San Diego to make some retaining walls out of them. This is quite a load here. Look at this load. Let's just compare trees. This is a really big load of trees. But, and, I, and these are the entire trees, the entire trunks of these redwoods I took out. Ridiculously heavy serious load but nowhere in comparison to my good buddy here <laughs> look at this limb you know how much weight is on this limb this is like 60 feet long sticking out goes all the way out all the way out to here so what you were looking at on the road if you were at all curious were a bunch of figs I've never actually eaten one of these things, but I'm about to right now, just for you guys. Uh, let's see Gary's reaction in live. Mm. Oh, that's a cool car. Yeah. Rent a Moki. You know what? This is not that bad. It literally has alcohol in it. I could taste the alcohol because it's fermenting. But... I'd have to be pretty desperate. Here's a ripe one. Right off the tree. Should I try it? Here's a bigger one. Um, look, <laughs> it's actually fermenting. Look at this. See that bubbling action right there? That's... Yeah, that's alcohol. <laughs> it tastes like brandy or something. This is so bizarre. I think I'm going to collect some of this and give it to my daughter. She might be able to make some, some stuff out. Anyway, back to our tree. Heavily in fruit right now. Maybe I'll collect some seed and try to grow it. This is the famous Santa Barbara ficus planted in 1876. There was a visiting sailor in Santa Barbara who gave a seedling that he carried all the way from the Southern Hemisphere from Australia here and I don't know what his plans were for that tree but he saw a little girl and he told the little girl I'm going to give you this tree you need to go plant it and someday you're going to have a really big beautiful tree and the rest is kind of history so the very fortunate streets to receive the most beautiful tree in the world, as far as I'm concerned, or certainly in California, are Montecito and Chopala, right here in Santa Barbara at the train station. So um, this tree is unbelievable. It is considered the largest spreading tree in North America, unsupported. What that means is in Florida, where it's really humid and tropical, a lot of these ficus trees will send aerial roots down and they'll hit the ground. Well, that gives them support. 
then it allows them to grow out farther without, you know, defying the laws of physics and gravity. But here, this tree does defy the laws of physics and gravity. I mean, the more lateral the branch, the more uh, force there's placed on that branch to hold itself up. Look at this branch here. I mean, that branch is like a giant anaconda. That branch has got to be 60, 70 feet long with an enormous amount of weight out there and it's holding itself up. I mean, hopefully that thing doesn't come crashing down. That would be a tragedy. I had a limb like that on an oak tree at home and it did come down and it just devastated my daughter because it was her special tree. Um, what's the risk you run about by not supporting these trees with uh, either cabling or um, vertical bracing? So you'll see there are some hidden cables up in the tree that have helped to support things. There's uh, one uh, coming off of this limb. Where's my finger? Here, there, coming down and supporting the tree. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, here you have, like, look at this limb here. This limb here, I really need to be up there to uh, show, to do this thing justice. But this limb here, from here to here, that right there is another limb behind it. But from here to here is about five foot diameter. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Got my tripod all set up. It's ready to go right there. All the way across the street. You want to see how big this tree is? The only way to show you is to show you what a 210 pound dude that's six feet tall looks like in the tree in relation to the tree itself. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. try to make you appreciate it a little more by running over to that tree and you see take how long it's gonna take for me to get there and then uh, I don't even think you can see the whole thing from there but you'll see how big it is in relation to me Look at these buttressed roots. Buttressed. Why are they buttressed? Look at that, the vertical. Totally vertical. They look like big giant anacondas, pythons, whatever you want to call it. The reason they're buttressed is these come from hurricane zones. The tree gets so massive, it creates an enormous sail in the wind. This tree is 80 feet tall. It's 180 feet across, maybe more. That was measured like 20 years ago. <laughs> and uh, it needs lateral support on its root zone so it doesn't get uprooted. It's basically like, you know, when you're a wrestler and you don't want to get flipped, you spread yourself out, put your hands on the ground, spread your legs out. It's harder to flip you. Uh, it becomes near impossible. So this structure of this tree is designed like that. It's not going to get flipped. It's not going to get flipped by anyone. And uh, just to give you an idea of <laughs> scale we're talking about, Let's just do a little walk. Do a little walk. Do a little walk on the edges of the roots. This is how far they are. It's crazy. This is really good balance training, by the way. I recommend it barefoot because um, you're much less likely to fall. You can always feel your feet slipping when you're barefoot much easier than when you're not. And here, like right now, <laughs> uh, there we go, look at this. It's just unreal. I 
Okay, this is probably the best spine to attest to your balance on right here. It's extremely narrow. It's the tallest buttress of them all. It's about four and a half feet, going down about three and a half to probably four, four down there. And then it tapers down. So let's see if old man Gary can swing the steel. Remember, no parachutes, no ropes, no nets, nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Almost. That's worth a take two. Got to do that again. I'm not going down like that. I'm not going down like that. Going again. I got to make it. It's hard when you're filming. I'm trying to watch the camera. You can't put your hand out. You can only put one hand out to the left. So I have to hold the camera. With my right hand. It gets extremely tricky. Uh, here we go. I think we're going to make this one. Second time is going to be the charm. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Did you ever see such beautiful foliage, such beautiful structure, such beautiful artistry? Look at that. Make that a black and white photo right there. Yeah. Anyway, um, so let's end this thing with uh, go to my free tree giveaway program. It's on my website under more, and you can have yourself a ficus macrophylla for free. Why? Because I continually germinate these, these little seeds. Don't get distracted. Uh, these little seeds right here, I'm gonna take them home. And uh, we're gonna have basically offspring from this very same tree. And you'll be connected to this amazing story. Um, you have to submit to me to get a free tree, a proposal on where you're gonna plant it because it gets big. Did I tell you it, got, it gets big? It gets real big. Uh, and if I approve that location, I will give you a baby tree. And then, you know, 144 years later, uh, you'll be the proud parent of something that everybody will come from miles around to see, just like I did today. How far do I have to back up to get the whole entire tree? That's a good question. A long way. Uh, yeah, they say 190, 185, 190 feet across, 80 feet tall. Am I there? No, I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Getting there. Probably about there. There's your tree. Um, anyway, I'd run over there for scale, but I think you get the idea. And that's pretty much my story.